One of the core beliefs that we have as improvisers is that all of us were created innovatively perfect and equal. We believe that over the course of a lifetime, because of things like parenting, socialization, and perhaps education, that we all stray in different degrees from our most innovative self. We believe this because of kids. It's so easy to observe how creative children are. For the most part, all five-year-olds can improvise, innovate, and pretend at about the same level of perfection. So the process we use to help people to become more innovative is to simply help them unlearn some of the things that have become innovative inhibitors and to help them gently retrace their steps back to their most innovative self. We think that the path to innovation is a long, patient, inward journey, but we also think there's some things that can help you get there faster. Some of them are broad, like learning how to accept new ideas and learning how to defer judgment, and others are just ridiculously simple, like increasing the amount of times you use the conjunction yes and instead of no but. Like any good athlete, improvisers consistently practice the skills and behaviors that are needed to increase their ability to come up with more and better ideas.